Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in my last video, we have seen how to convert decimal numbers to binary. In this tutorial, we will be seeing its reverse. This means that we will have a binary number and convert it back to its decimal number. There are many ways we can do this program. You can write your logic or use an inbuilt function or use recursion or many other ways. Similar to the earlier tutorial, I will keep the most straightforward logic so that you can easily understand line by line. And later at the end, I will also show you using a built-in function. This tutorial will have two sections. First, we'll understand the logic in detail and implement the code in the second section. You can directly watch the code section if you want to skip the detailed logic explanation. I always recommend understanding the logic to improve your problem solving skill and later use any built in function. You can also write the same code in many different ways using lambda, list comprehension, and many more. You can comment on your version of the code in the comment section. So, we have understood what a binary number is and how it is calculated in my last video. If you have not seen it and want to understand, I recommend watching by clicking the link in the top right corner or the link from the description below. Let us understand the process first, then we can implement using code. In a binary system, we have only zeros and ones. Let us take the earlier example from the last video. So we had the number 35, which was converted into binary number 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. We will use same binary to convert back to its decimal number. First, we need to understand two key aspects that is MSB and LSB. So I can write MSB and LSB. So what are MSB and LSB? MSB stands for most significant bit and LSB stands for least significant bit. Let me write the binary with some spaces to get more understanding. So let me write the binary 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. In simple words, left side is MSB. So this is your MSB and right side is LSB. Let me write the position of each bit from right to left. So this will be our position and we can write from right to left. So position will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the position from right to left. As binary is of base 2 and each bit will represent the power of 2. So let me write 2 in each place. So I can write 2 in each place. Now we need to count the power of 2 from right to left where power starts from 0. In simple words, each position is the power. So the next step will be, we will raise 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2 and so on. So the first bit will be 2 raised to power 0, the second bit will be 2 raised to power 1 and so on. Now we need to multiply each with its corresponding bit value. So for this, it will look like this, 1 into 2 raised to 5, 0 into 2 raised to 4, 0 into 2 raised to 3, 1 into 2 raised to 1 and 1 into 2 raised to 0. So this is our next step. And final step is to add each and that's your decimal value. So I can add, we'll just add plus here and let's see what we got. So it will be 1 into 32 plus 0 into 16 plus 0 into 8 plus 0 into 4 plus 1 into 2 plus anything raised to 0 is 1. So it will be 1 here. So we got the final output 32 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 which equals to 35. Now let's move to code to implement the same logic.
The very first thing we need is input from the user and the input should only contain zeros and ones. So to get the input we can use the python input method. So I can write input and I can say enter binary number only allowed zeros and ones. This will be our message. So let's save this value so I can write binary number equals to. By default the input method value will be string. So we need to convert this input to the integer type. So I can write int here. I have not added any input validation check here. But you can add them if you need. Now we have got the input. So our first step is completed. Next let us write one function which will take one parameter and return us with the decimal output. You can write logic without a function as well. But it is a good practice to create a function that does one task and return us with the output. So whenever we need output, we can simply call that function again and get the result. To create a function, I can write def and the function name. So I can write def and let's say binary to decimal which will have one parameter. So I can write binum and that's it. Now we have our function. But the most important thing is to implement the logic which we have seen before. There are a few ways we can read each bit. One way is to read the MSB bit first that is reading from left to right. For that we need to find the highest power which will be equal to the length of the input minus 1. Or other way is to read the data from right to left where power will start from 0 and will be incremented by 1. I will be doing the second approach so you can easily relate the explanation which we have seen before. But you can modify the logic for the first approach and comment the code in the comment section. So the very first thing we need to find each bit from right to left. For that we can use modulus operation. So I can write binum modulus 10. This will give us the last bit from the right side or you can say rightmost bit. Now it is calculated but we need to save that value in some variable. So I can write decimal equals to our modulus operation. The next step is to calculate the power of 2 where power is the location starts from 0. For that we need a variable power that starts from 0 and will be incremented by 1 each time. So I can write power equals to 0. To calculate the power of 2 we can use the built in power method. So I can write power it will be raised to 2 and our power variable. This is something 2 raised to power 0. Now let us go back to our example to check the next step. So we did find the power but next we need to do is to multiply with its equivalent bit and do sum of each of them. Now let's go back to our code. So I can modify the same line so I can write decimal into power of 2. As a final step we need to add each one of them. To support this we need one variable to store the sum. So I can write decimal number equals to 0. So I can modify the code. So I can write decimal number plus or operation. As we need to find sum, so I can write. So it will look like decimal number equals to decimal number plus decimal into our power operation. So this will help in calculating the power of each bit and adds it. Now we have done this for the last bit that is rightmost bit. Next we need to find next bit for the next iteration. For that we will use floor division. So I can write bind num equals to to forward slash and 10. This will trim the last bit from the existing bits. As we have seen in the example, this entire process needs to be done for each bit. For that we need a loop. Here I will be using a while loop. So I can write while by num not equals to 0. We need to run these steps until the binary num reaches 0. Let me move the code in the loop.
so our while condition is set one more step we need to do is to increment the power variable by one for each iteration so i can write power plus equals to one at the end of the loop we'll have a decimal output as a last step we need to return the output from the function so i can write return decimal number now our function is ready you can further optimize or shorten the code by changing some logic here and there so this is our while condition and this power should come in the outer block now it's done lastly we need to call that function with a parameter so i can write binary to decimal and we'll pass binary number as a input this should return us with the output so i can write output equals to and let me print the output so i can write print decimal decimal colon and it will be output here let me save this and run this with an example it is asking for a user input so i can type 100011 that is equivalent to 35 and hit enter so we got the correct output let's try with another example let's say we have 15 and our binary will be 1111 and it should give us the 15 that's correct now we understood how to convert binary to decimal We also talked about some built-in methods. In Python, we have a few. Here we'll use the int method, which converts the binary to its integer value. Before that, let me comment the existing code. So let me comment this. Also, let me copy the input method. So I will just copy this line and paste it here. In this approach we don't need integer input as we will be doing that in a next line so let me remove that line so let me remove this and input will be default as a string and just write int of and we'll pass binary number we also need to pass one option that is 2 which states it is a binary number so i can write 2 here You can combine both lines but for the explanation purpose I will have a different step together. So let me save this. Let me write output equals to or conversion. Let's print the output so I can write decimal and output here. Let me save and rerun. We'll use the same example so that was 100011 it should give output 35 that's correct that's it from this video if you like this content hit that like and subscribe button and press that bell icon so you will get notified whenever new video gets uploaded and lastly if you have any queries or suggestion feel free to comment and i will try to answer those thanks for watching see you next time